Good morning on what is a mild grey and overcast day. It is Friday the 11th of November and I've got a parcel to unbox and a nice hot cup of tea. Cat who is not ours. And the next thing I'm going to pull out from this box is Miss Marvel Volume 1, uh, Kamala Khan. So this is published by Marvel. Um, and you will recognise the character, no doubt, from um, her, the, the Miss Marvel comic, comic book series um, on Disney+. Plus. So, uh, the all-new Miss Marvel, ground, groundbreaking hero who became an international sensation. Uh, Kamala Khan is just an ordinary girl from Jersey City until she is suddenly empowered with extraordinary gifts. But who truly is the all-new Miss Marvel? Find out as she takes, on, takes the Marvel Universe by storm and prepares for an epic tale that will be remembered by generations to come. The award-winning debut of Miss Marvel, the superhero for a new generation, uh, contains uh, Miss Marvel uh, issues 1 to 11 and content from um, the all-new Marvel Now Point of One. Um, um, also, but all originally pu published in 2014. Um, so this was quite groundbreaking because it, it came out in 2014, was an entirely new character, um, own series, launched um, and introduced a new character, new kind of background that was really different for uh, the Marvel Universe. Um, now, of course, you know, there have been um, persons of colour in the Marvel Universe, uh, whether that's Luke Cage, uh, for example, is the most well-known, or um, you have Talisman um, and um, Shaman, uh, you know, for the from Alpha Flight. They're there, but not, um, they don't always get their own uh, title off, straight off, and usually sort of form team-ups or something, um, but straight out the gate, we have Miss Marvel, who was um, not only um, at, uh, well, uh, not only you know female, young, um, teenager. She was obviously a person of colour, um, American Asian, uh, and a Muslim, um, which presented an entirely different kind of viewpoint uh, for the Marvel universe. Uh, at um, you know, it introduced sort of like you know a completely different um, kind of you know you know take upon superhero comics, um, and there you know the, 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 um, there are superhero comics um, that do come from uh, the Islamic world or certainly India and so on. I've got, I've got a cousin uh, who's talked about them a bit, um, but not, there was nothing like it in in the Marvel universe, and so this really was groundbreaking. So. Um, but, uh, and essentially, um, here we go. But, uh, and obviously, you know, um, it's basically, it would even win the Hugo Award as well, it says in here. So, um, you know, if you've been looking at Miss Marvel um, on Disney Plus, here's the, point, here's, here's the point to go back and start. It's going to be different. Um, you know, if you've got, um, you know, um, so it's going to be slightly different. If you're going to find that you're going to get you're going to get a slightly different take upon the origins and different slightly different powers as well, because um, she's not really like um, Captain Marvel. She's a bit different to that. Um, and the other thing is that she, already in the series, in the setting, she's a superhero nerd. She likes the Avengers. But, um, you know and. It's not just a case of her being a superhero all the time. You have uh, scenes of her um, in school. Um, and then, you know, just sat around the table with her family. And it's their experience, sort of like, you know, being Americans. Um, but not from, as I say, a non-traditional point of view. And that's really great. I really like that. Um... The artwork is excellent. Um, it has, um, but, uh, yeah. Um, so it's basically you've got her origins, how she first gets involved in this in in the Marvel universe, um, and um, you know how she survives as as Miss Marvel. Um, 
and hopefully she'll also be making a debut in sort of like she's already made a debut in her own series hopefully she'll make a debut as a character in the films as well uh, which will be really great um, you know bring the character to an even wider audience um, so yeah um, you know and the great thing is sort of like you have sort of like you know uh, covers here at um, you know, a happy Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel against a very standing next to a very grumpy um, Wolverine. And just nice touches of like taking a selfie. You don't imagine Wolverine ever wanted to take a selfie with anyone, but she, you know, she is young. She wants to do that. But um, yeah, um, so yeah, that's Miss Marvel. Thoroughly recommend it. Um, you know, it's also a great sort of. It's also a great entry point for uh, the Marvel Universe as well because it's coming in from a point of view from. Um, and so don't mean an outsider to, to, to what you would normally expect from the, from the Marvel Universe uh, and going in um, and, and having a look experience these characters uh, and having a di so different perspective. Anyway, that's Miss Marvel Volume 1. There are several more volumes available and she's a not, she's got her own series, she's ongoing um, ever since sort of like her debut in sort of like 2013-2014. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the look. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the look where I will be out here um, with a box um, containing a book or game, in this case a graphic novel, which I will unbox, which is about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly two minutes or so, all of course are by a nice hot cup of tea. then please do hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing in the nook. I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.